Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be showing you how to get unlimited VC on NBA 2K20. This works on all platforms. And uh, yeah, before we get into this video, make sure to drop a like on this video so that you do get more content like this and subscribe if you're new. So yeah, as you just saw on my screen, I made a new player. Just, I've already had like a preset created. It doesn't matter what player you make, it makes no difference whatsoever. I think I have a player making shot creator, which is one of my actual builds. So yeah, you want to make a new player, and then the team you want to play for is a play, not a play, a playoff team. I would recommend the Lakers because the Lakers are just going to win the playoffs in the game. Obviously, we can't play the actual games, which would happen in real life because there's no sports going on. But yeah, I would say choose the Lakers or the Clippers or the Bucks. You just need to be updated with what teams have made the playoffs on the game. So on the screen, as you can see, I have tested out all the difficulties. It makes no difference. Uh, it makes no difference uh, how to the VC you get at the end of the game. Obviously, if you do play normal my career, if you do change it to Hall of Fame difficulty, you will get a 1.6 times multiplier. But this does not affect how much VC you get on this method anyway. So you can just keep on pro, keep it five minutes because you want to get this done as quickly as possible. And you're just gonna quickly go on my player nation and load up the game. Now, a lot of people will already know this method, but if you don't know this method, what you want to do is you want to stay in the game for six minutes. Exactly six minutes. You can be in there longer, but six minutes is the minimum time you have to be in the game for uh, the VC to register. So you actually have to complete the game. And you're going to want to foul out. I'm going to keep the entire gameplay throughout this video so that you can see what I do anyway. You know, there's really no, no big of a deal here, but I'll keep up anyway. So, um, this entire method will probably take you around 6 to 8 minutes if you do it the quickest way because obviously including all the timeouts and all the loading screens, this will, this will give you a few extra minutes. Um, usually it might take you maybe 10 minutes because these games towards the end when you have fouled out, they will be, uh, they, they'll just be stopping the time, you know, they'll be doing fouls because most of the time they will be uh, very tight games towards the end but this doesn't affect anything like I said before what you want to do is just I would say pick up two fouls or a, a foul every minute what I tend to do is I load into the game I pick up two fouls I'll get subbed off play for a bit and then get a foul again and get a foul a minute later maybe you know it, this doesn't make a difference what Sorry. time you get the fouls you can get them at the end you can get them you can't get them at the start but you can get them at the end if you wish, you know, play six minutes first and then foul out towards the end. There will be uh, no difference. I feel as if it does maybe take a bit longer if you do foul out at the end. Because if you have zero fouls and then you do two fouls in a row, you'll get subbed. Then another foul and then you'll get subbed again. So just get it throughout the game. Uh, you can see it in the gameplay, I have sped it all up. So the amount of VC you're going to be getting with this glitch is a thousand. Now it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you do this over and over and over again, it will stack up. So this is a VC method that has been out for a long time, pretty much since the start of My Player Nation when it got released. And I feel like not enough people are taking advantage of, uh, of actually using this because this is a method which can't really be patched. It's not a glitch. There are glitches out there which can get you banned. For example, you can go on the VC store and I've seen videos where apparently you just have to spam spam you know the amount you want to buy which is like 20 pounds and then you have to join a friend just don't do these types of glitches because even if you do get the VC you're gonna end up getting banned so I wouldn't recommend doing them this way it does take some time but it is legit and uh, yeah I feel like this is a much better way to do it so I'm gonna keep this running in the background you can watch it when it's all I'm gonna be back when yeah it's the end of the game I'll, I'll just keep it running and I'll speed up even more So yeah, here you can see me pick up my final foul of the game. It's going to send me to the end of the game. Like I said at the start, they're going to do timeouts as the games are going to get pretty close. They're going to time out. They're going to foul again. Yeah, just have to really wait through this part. Just skip it. Uh, make it as quick as you can, I guess, if you want. You know, if you can sim it. If not, then you have to watch it. So yeah, the game has ended. 
you will get a thousand VC, like I said, due to the double bonus. And yeah, ne next time you want to do this glitch, you want to just uh, make a new player. You know, you can delete this player, you don't need it anymore. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you. You can just delete the build, and this will stack onto your VC, so you can apply it on your main player. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.